That wasn't good. Hi. Oh. We're fine. Everything's fine. Stanley couldn't wake up from his dream. You know, it actually does remind me a little bit of Stanley in that way, too. With all the resetting. The way that you keep going back to the, the alarm clock room. Being reminiscent of the way that you kept starting over Stanley Parable over and over again. Ah! I never know what's gonna happen when I do something in this game. Never, ever, ever, never, never, ever. Ah! Ah! What? Putting down the block teleported me to... To... Okay. This is... This is happening now. Ah! It's like an infinite vortex of... Oh my god. Game, you done lost your mind. Oop. There's arrows. Hi. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. The alarm clocks mean I'm approaching a bad thing? Oh no, desta destabilizing is. Oh my fucking god, the act of pressing the alarm clock just fucking exploded the whole room into being a texture. What the fuck? Ah, Staircon. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I wanted to go back and read the poster. But it's gonna stop putting lampposts in my games. Uh. I grab this. The moon again? There's nothing near me. Oh. Oh, we pulled a Uru. The skybox is actually a box. Oh, I don't like that. That's creepy. Also, I could see when it became the box. Like I could I could tell when it happened, so it was a little a little ineffective of an illusion. It doesn't they don't start off as boxes, they just become boxes. But yeah, we're pulling an Uru. Again, all sneaky sneaky. You think that the wall just looks low texture, but actually it's a real wall in universe. Hi. How are you doing? Huh, okay. <laughs> Huh. I'm rather impressed by this game. This is quite the ride we're having here. Somna Sculpt. Sleep Clinic. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Somna Sculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state states. states. Did I just pick up the room that I'm in? Tony's and Jingles. Yeah, I, I zoomed right in on that without even noticing that's that's what I was doing. Inception. Dream soda. Without even realizing that's what I was doing, I just zoomed right in on the building that is this. Yeah, Somnoscopes, and I grabbed it. Oh. That's the door I just saw. That's that room. That's the front door of the place. Can I use the computer? No. Uh oh. Well, that doesn't work.
I'll just set it here on my bed. Yay. Now if I go out the front door, will I be small? Yes. Let's take it closer to the front door, because otherwise this takes a long time. Also might be a huge mistake. But I'm not sure that I know what I'm trying to do. Oh, can't go out that door. Oh, I can. I just have to go over that little rail. Can I carry this box out of its own front door? You can see the camera, the perspective of the, of the, pers of the yeah. The perspective's moving around as I move around, because I'm holding it right now. Ugh. That might be a problem. I may have just problemed all over the place a little bit. Uh oh. Well, I'm glad I had the right call there. I had the right idea of what kind of mess I could make next. Oh, it's the black area. Not an exit, you say. I'll see about that. Oop, that's not good. Oop. Oh. I'm a little confused. What's happening? Hi. Black box. Take with? No, can't take with. Okay, we're back to having some kind of space. What was that? Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. There was a crapshoot every time whether this thing's gonna work. What? You can drop it from high enough distance that it actually, like, breaks? Oh, that's the biggest it's ever been. Now that we're outside. I didn't realize that. That's never happened before. You can drop it from high enough that it actually breaks the soda, and the carbonation becomes a problem at that point. Man, signing that consent form was a huge mistake. I should never have done that. gonna be okay huh.
This is not an exit. I know, it's a box. Boxes aren't an exit, silly. Unless they are. You never know with this game. The floor is lava. Nope. What's happening? Not gonna lie, for a second there I thought maybe the fire alarm will finally work. Um... The only color thing in this room is not an exit. But I, I can't find an interactive thing in here. What do you want from me, game? What's going on? There's a light pointing straight at this. <gasps> the shadow's a door. Okay, I walk in a straight line then. Huh. Is each, is, each, is each window a different spot or the same one? It's the weird column grid that has the shiny, that has the reflective floor. <gasps> Somebody spilled the. Oh no, that's a light. Thought it was a mug. down here. Help. Uh. The window became a box. in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Infinite Perspective Here the traffic cone itself is massive, all on its own. Kinda looks like a boat from here. Light switch. Oop. What did I do? Oh, hey. Um, I seem trapped. 
Those arrows seem like lies, because going left and right doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, hey. Well, this is a joke. It's a wall. Oh, oh fuck. It's a wall until it's not, apparently. It's actually a hole in the wall. <laughs> uh... No! Red, yellow, red, blue. Red, blue, red, yellow. The same four colors. Is there another wall around here that's not real? Yes. All the white walls are fake. Oh, they had fun with this one. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? At this point, I'll settle for survival. Oh. I'm on the clouds I saw earlier? Oh, those are water coolers. And these are like melted chess pieces, it looks like. But why? Okay, black is bad. Maybe white is also bad? No. Okay. It seems like they're only real if my piece is on it. If I can put my- if I can put a pi- ah, shit, don't pick it up. Keep messing this up. If I put a piece on the square, then it's considered real. Otherwise I'm doomed. No! Damn it. I keep making this mistake. Huh. What? Startling. There you go. Slow down and make sure I'm not standing on the one that I'm moving. I almost did it.
Go, go, go. Hi. Okay, so neither of those are a door. Hopefully that is, but how do I get up there? Hmm. The issue here is I can't climb this. What? <gasps> it makes the door real. Wedge. That's super interesting. The stupid fake door on the wall became real the moment I could place an item on the other side of it. Oh, that's super weird. Because, yeah, the problem is that I couldn't make that thing of the right size. I would never be able to climb up it and then also climb up the thing on the other side. Having more troubles with this this than you would think. The perspective stuff. We haven't used it a lot lately. Hip. And yep. No. The platforming sometimes holds this back a little bit. Really, I just wish the mantle was stronger. Like if you were holding down space bar, I wish that you would just auto detect a ledge while you're falling and climb up it instead there's just a lot of like nope the game decided that's not good enough like I'm slamming into the ground you would think that based on that I am worthy but I'm not you can hear this you can hear the sound of my feet hitting the doorway but that's not enough to make me actually enter the doorway which is rough, because you can only place these items so precisely when the very act of trying to make them big enough requires you to, like, drop them, usually. Hip! Uh, okay, this is getting annoying. Come on. We can do this. Wow, why is it so far away? Why isn't it closer to the block? Uh. There we go, come on! Thank God. Okay. Oh my God. Hey, oh, hey. Oh. Okay. This is my once a month reminder that my to do list features the game LSD. I just want to get around to that game someday. Maybe. Oh my god. It's 7.20 something a.m. Huh. 7.59 a.m. Did I do it?
What? What? No, oh no. Wait, am I back? Wait, the, uh, Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. go so one of my one of my first thoughts was right this was all the tat this, this is all the experiment working exactly as intended all those little nicks and things where it's like oh wow you're escaping the dream well what's going on it was it was all a, a plot it was all a plan it was all a, a grand theater and the usual thing applied which is that the people who are talking to you in the game are liars and and so on that just always happens every time <laughs> it's just not there's only so many options for how to do a puzzle game that where somebody's talking to you and there's a story and so basically like a hundred percent of the time the person talking to you is either the villain or they're lying to you about what's happening in the game or something like that like, it's just been so universally true that I've just, I always just assume it's true. And then it's like, oh, look, I was, I was right. Aha. That was a lot of fun. That game was full of frenetic energy and just crazy, bizarre scenarios that were just really fun to poke around with. And it never really got boring. Uh, which is interesting because it was like, it was almost like a series of tech demo tricks. But they were all, almost all of them were handled in clever ways. And it was just a really fun thing to, to just to play with. You're like, oh, look at this thing. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, look at the thing that's oh, it's doing this now. And it was just it was just a great time. And it was able to maintain that for a while, like for longer than the duration of the original portal. Like 
when Valve made a a, a kind of fresh and and when when Valve made like a like a fresh puzzle game full of like difficult to implement like new technology and stuff like that and has and it was like really well paced and all that like even that one didn't have this much content that said it, it did start to drag a little bit i think it's more that like what how do i put this while you're just exploring and and playing the game normally you can kind of just kind of keep going for a while and keep adding new mechanics like oh that's what we're doing now oh that's what we're doing now but once it starts to get scary or once, it, once the curtain gets pulled back and it's like, Oh my god, the bad is happening. Or, oh my god, you're going crazy. Or, oh my god, the villain's after you. Or that, whatever equivalent of that, that that the particular puzzle game does. You kind of expect the game to kind of start wrapping it up. But I think the game spent like half or maybe even more than half of its runtime in the state of, Oh my god, ah, 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 it's bad. Oh, you're going crazy. And so, like, it gets a little... You get a little fatigued by the fantastical visuals. Whereas when it's more mundane during the puzzle parts, you're like, oh yeah, here's this thing and here's that thing. But once, once it starts like losing its mind and getting crazy and be like, haha, you thought that was gonna happen, but this is happening. And aha, you thought you'd make a ramp, but actually the floor collapsed. And I, I, you thought you'd walk in this hallway, but the, you fell through the floor and all these other tricks keep happening. Uh, usually that's a shorter part of the game. I can't really complain about the existence of content, but what comes to mind is layer, not Layers of Fear, the game from the people that made Layers of Fear. Uh, what was the cyberpunk game called? Observer. Observer was a game where you would go into people's brains and then a weird psychedelic, horror-y, like nonsense, super dimension, crazy shit starts happening because you're in their brain and it's all, since it's in a head, <clears throat> since it's since in somebody's head and it's their subjective memories but it's also their subjective memories that are warped as they're dying and all that uh, crazy shit could happen basically and your environment didn't have to make sense and it could just completely lose your, its mind and in that game those visuals and so on were like really effective it was really cool stuff but each individual segment would sometimes be 20-30 minutes long and it's like I it starts to lose its uh effectiveness when it starts to become numbing and tiring and so that there's a little bit of that that's like one of the only criticisms i criticisms i have of this game the, one of the other ones being the fact that like the perspective thing where you place a thing to, perspective wise is really imprecise and difficult to control uh so when it requires really specific jumps sometimes it can get a little frustrating uh but really, I started to really flex the limitations of that in like, what, probably episode two, when I was trying to use the, the four signs to climb up a room. That started to really show like how limited your control over that stuff was and how imprecise and sloppy the whole thing was and how if it really required anything of real precision from you, it would just get really deeply frustrating and unfun, which thankfully went other, it went in other directions instead. It was heavy on the epiphanies instead, which is what puzzle games should often be about. So yeah, thumbs up. Neat game. Thanks for watching, like, like always, guys, and uh, tomorrow we'll be playing something new.